Hello everybody again, it's Robo, or Barn in the Effect on the PS3. I've got my AK-47 in gold and I'm bringing you a, a gameplay on Havana. As always, First Blood, uh, lovely thrown Semtex there, love to do that. Uh, what I want to talk to you today about is subscribers. You know, how, how do people get subs? Do they advertise? Leave comments asking for views? I mean, I do surf the the internet, I do surf YouTube a lot, clicking from page to page, and I love finding obscure commentators, and there's some really good ones out there. You know, some, most of them haven't got, I think, the subs they deserve. I wonder sometimes how these other commentators get so big. I mean, obviously, the more subs you get, the more likes you'll get. So more people then see a link to your vid, and then they'll like the vid, and then they'll get more views, and, you know, so it grows and, and it grows. Um, but most of the people I sub to in the beginning were from doing searches for videos that I wanted to watch. Um, one of the first ones I found was, was Chris Smooth. He made me laugh and I just loved the tone of his voice, what he got to say and did live commentary, uh, commentaries as well, which you know, which I really liked. I mean, this was back in the Modern Warfare 2 day before he found Machinima or Machinima found him and he was doing like a series on how did he not see me on that? Just cracked me up. That start, that kind of stuff did. Um, and then White Boy, but obviously White Boy's channel was pretty massive. Uh, anyway, but uh, on the the Black Ops side of things, I loved it when he was f uh, playing the the wager matches. Uh, they're fun. His shit talking was really funny. Um, good gameplay. You know, but sometimes I think now, well, some lately. Um, his commentaries, I don't know, they've, they've lost something. I don't know, you know, he's a, he's a young lad, I know he's only 20 and he's living on his own. He's got no parents and he's, um, well, it's not his job as such, but he's getting paid for it. And money changes people, and when the focus changes from fun gameplay and commentating on that to counting the views to see how much you, you're going to get paid, then of course the quality is going to suffer. Um, but they're the two biggest commentators I've subbed to. The rest of my list are relatively small, you know, which I like. We all do uh, commentaries because we like to do it. I think we'd all agree we like to we like to get bigger and get more subs. For me, maybe it's a little too late to be that ambitious and to grow as large as, as some of the guys out there. I mean, looking at the most of the the larger sub commentators, it takes about two or three years to grow to to that size now. Believe it or not, I'll be hitting, I'll be hitting 40 by the time that happens. Um, and do people want to be listening to an old farty gamer like me? <laughs> I don't think so, but I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. You know, leave a comment below, let me know. <laughs> there we go, I'm sounding like White Boy 7th Street now. So, uh, I don't know, so do I want to grow that large? Oh, yeah, of course I do, but how do I do it? I, I don't know, really. I, I don't want to be going to to other pages and other uh, people's channels and leaving comments asking for views. Uh, I don't want to do that. I think if, if people find my page and they like what they see, they'll sub. And if they like what they hear, they'll sub and leave a like. But I'm doing it for my pleasure as, as well as everybody else's, if they find it. I mean, it's fun. Focus my focuses my mind when I'm, when I'm playing. Um, you know, it's, I want to play and get better, and so if I can do that by concentrating the mind on on that and trying to get good gameplay, then it'll help. And when I get it, I'll I'll post it. So, like now, hopefully this gameplay is all right, and I think I'll I'll, I'll only get better by by doing it. Each commentary uh, commentary will hopefully get better as well. Um, I mean, what I what I want to do is get the gameplay up and explain my tactics, what I was thinking at the time. What I was, uh, what was going through my mind when I was making the decisions, and show you some safe spots and opening routes, where to throw grenades and semtex, how, how to use the map to your your advantage, and you know, all the uh, locations of your guys, and seeing if somebody's just died, everything like that. Um, I mean, that's what I was listening to other commentators for, was to try and find this stuff out on Modern Warfare 2. So, listening to him, what I liked to hear was you know, the passion about the game. and Not overly rude for rudeness sake and swearing here and there and everywhere for no real reason. Um, you know, people who enjoy commentating and feeling 
Like it's not a chore, you know, really getting into it. And I want to do that, get into it more and give people advice. And I think I can do that now. I mean, I'm prestige 15. I've got a kill death ratio of 2.24, win ratio over 2. So I think I'll put some videos up on uh, my weapon setup, the perks I've got, the guns I use, why I use those guns, why I use those perks. Um, but I'll be having fun doing it. You know, so that's what I want to do, and that's hopefully what I will do. And there's a lot of hard work to be done, and most of this, um, most of this commentating is fun. It is hard work, but you know, I wouldn't do it if I didn't like it. So there you go. That's the end of the game, anyway. And it wasn't too bad. I think I got uh, 22, yeah, 22 and two. Didn't come top, but not a bad gameplay. So if you like what you you see, what you hear. Leave a like and sub if you want. Thanks for listening. Take it easy.